Hey guys, and welcome to those terrible games. It's Postage here, and now what we've got is the first part in a new kind of seriesy thing. Uh, because of how well the uh, DRG, who was it? it was DRG vs Hey Pro game uh, was received, uh, I'm now going to be doing a couple more high level replays just to try and both improve my casting and provide a bit of a higher caliber caliber level gameplay to you guys. So, what we have here is the Naniwa vs Nest Best of 3 from the Winter Arena. And we're currently in Game 1, which was on Dual Site, MLG Dual Site. So, in the left-hand position of the map, we have our Red Protoss Naniwa. And then in the upper right, I'm not sure, symmetry-wise, oh yeah, I guess, yeah. So, in the upper right-hand side of the map, we have our Blue Zerg IM's Nest T. So this game uh, I, oh, would have been one of the few encounters since the uh, the old probe debacle occurred where these two have met. Uh, last night they met in the GSL, I think, maybe, hang on. No, they didn't end up meeting in the GSL last night because Nesty went through uh, undefeated and Naniwa had to play through the losers portion of his pool but they both ended up making it through, so we might end up seeing them in the final of the GSL this season. So we've got a 4-13, 13, 13 pool no gas so far from Nesty, and I'd assume he'd be taking his either his gas fairly soon, or he'll be going for a fast expand of some sort. Uh, saying that, Naniwa looks like he's banking up the minerals to go for a fast expand himself and chrono boosting out those probes as well. And Budush, there goes the double exp the expand for both players. So one part of Nest Tease, uh one thing I read, just checking for any pile on or anything, uh, something I read recently about Nest Tea was that the Brood War pros that were at MLG Anaheim, uh, they said that or I think it was Flash in particular, said that Nest T in Brood War, he wasn't the best mechanical player. So he wasn't the fastest, he wasn't the most, uh, he wasn't like up to their caliber, I, I should say. But that instead he was, uh, his tactics, like the decision making that he had was uh, actually quite good. So this probe's skidding around now behind the expansion just to see what's happening. And the forge being thrown down with the gateway and the photon cannon in a nice little placement there from Naniwa. So there's only that small choke for Lings to run past, so not too many should get through. So the queen moving down towards the natural four nest T, and I assume he'd be getting another queen relatively soon. And his row trying goes down now, and the expansion finishes up. So, one of those links getting picked off, and only 2 HP of hull damage has been sustained by that probe. So, fairly standard opening by both players. And Naniwa throwing down his cybernetics now, and it actually looks like Nest is going to go for some sort of roach bust as he is pulling up all these drones. Sorry, not drones, lava. Whoops, let's open up the units tab. So, he's got three at the moment. Bang, bang, bang. Waits for the money to come back in. So we can produce some more. So just check Naniwa. So Naniwa doesn't know anything that's happened in the main at the moment. Uh, I believe this was before the Queen... Yep, this was before the Queen was able to have 5 range and shoot its air attack. So these roaches will be quite a surprise for Naniwa, as I don't think he'll be expecting this at all. And 14 Ling's also coming out now, but... Is that a full wall off? How does that work? So Naniwa has defensively walled himself off, I think. With that pile of, Oh no, so there's that one spot where they can get through. Alright. So this will all come down to uh, Naniwa's engagement. And how he's able to deal with it. He's got one zealot out at the moment. And this photon cannon I don't think will be able to do that much. Uh, so if these roaches are able to focus fire down that cannon. There won't be much that Naniwa can do. 
So the Ling's going into probe chase and the cannon is going to fall very quickly. So it'll come down to how fast he can get out these units. But even the sentry, I don't think, unless it can land a really good force field. And when you've got Ling's running up to join into your main base, that is when problems happen. Oh, so one force field, but he just misses it by one hex. That one hex will end up costing him the game. So the GG from Naniwa and he leaves. So uh, game one in this series goes to Nesty. So, uh, come on back, guys, and we'll get into game two as soon as we can.